Hello, and welcome to my tutorial for a 2D printer in Minecraft Java Edition. I would build it for you live, but building takes forever. So instead, I've compiled a neat little tutorial for people to follow on their own. Disclaimer that I made this on a multiplayer server, so some stuff has been cut out and messed up. So if you want the original, then you can go on that server still and find my plot. Anyways, starting off, I'll start with the most, probably the most complicated component, which is this filter system, which can be expanded on for how many colors you want for your printer. In this case, I've only made 12 colors, and you can start off by making a tower of hoppers that are facing these directions, so that they can be used in this way to sort them. And how this works is that I fill it with unstackable items and one stackable item, well, sta unstackable, a filter block or you could use literally like an axe or something. Now if you put a whole stack in, it will stop at 41 because of this circuit here. It takes a signal strength from how many items are in the hopper and when it reaches a number higher than 41, it will power this next redstone dust which will power this redstone repeater, which will unlock the hopper below it and let more items through. Now, in this, my design, I take the signal from this, I make a torch tower up to the rest of the printer, and I take another torch and basically just make it so that the items go all the way down to a collection. Now, you can make this better or do whatever you want, and this is just how I did it. The next thing is just wiring it up and making the timer circuit. Now it's not really a traditional timer in the sense that it just loops without anything else. No, instead it is a timer that works responsively to the speed of how the printer is processing items. Now how this works is that the input chest is locked by default. And when you give the button, press to start it, it will unlock and let exactly one item through. Now, when this item goes through, it will send a signal back to the timer and unlock it so that another item can come through and go to the next block in the design. Now, on to the next part. This part is basically just pushing the blocks away so that they will stack into the design that you want, and this part can be expanded for how big your filter system is and all that stuff. So in this case, I've just made it one double chest, which is nine wide by six tall. Basically, I have a bunch of these little circuits which will push, push, and push into a water block so that the concrete powder will turn into concrete. And when it reaches to the end, this circuit here takes an observer output runs it through uh, falling or rising edge monostable circuit which will rise a block and will push a block into the air like gravel or sand in this case they use concrete powder and it will take one signal from the observer not the second one to push the blocks up one so that it will make a line on the screen or yeah the the workspace in this next step i just expanded the funnel so that it could fit four and this is how big it has to be really for just eight colors, but I expanded even more so I can have 12 with this part up here, but you can expand it even more to how many colors you want on your printer. And I've seen some way more efficient designs than mine, and my wiring is terrible on this, so feel free to just make this so much better, because this is literally spaghetti. But anyways, there's an FAQ at the end, and...